Hi, I'm Dane. I'm the PR guy at YouTube. See? We do employ actual humans. Word has gotten out about our automated flagging system for demonetization thanks to YouTube Analyzed and Nerd City. We appreciate your efforts in keeping us honest. First off, I'd like to say that when questioned earlier, technically, we did not lie. So technically, you cannot be mad. We understand that you have feelings, as humans do. And here at YouTube, we're hum human too. But we missed the mark. Again. And in an effort to be more transparent, I'm here to discuss what you've already figured out for yourselves. Offense comes in many forms, and we try our best to stay ahead of the curve. But with the overwhelming amount of content uploaded every minute, it's hard to keep up. That's why we've trained bots to detect toxic behavior through terms and phrases. And just like humans, we... They make mistakes too. We've relied on your feedback to help train our bots, and they're only as good as your feedback. So when you're upset to see terms like gays or lesbians being automatically flagged, know that it's because of you. They can't stand up for themselves, and we take the treatment of our bots very seriously. I figured now would be as good a time as any to share a current data set of flagged words and terms. Nazi, KKK, ISIS, Holocaust. The list goes on. Our advertisers want no association with any of these terms, and for good reason. It's pretty easy to deduce an algorithm, or pattern, that relates these words to the respective toxicity rating. For instance, we know abortion can be a sensitive and offensive topic, so it's flagged. Drugs and other offensive names are flagged as well. Here's an example sentence. Todd, the spokesman for the hotel's headquarters, enjoyed reading Shrek while his dipsh** employees drove around the countryside, surfing on their tablets and feeling out the restaurants and other sites. Of the underlined words, which ones do you think would be flagged by the automated system? That's right, all of them, except dipsh**. Words like Todd and Shrek have potentially dangerous toxicity ratings, whereas dipsh** has insufficient data. Does it make sense yet? Let's try one more sentence. Lusty Gaylord d masochist that is violently addicted to hydrocodone and infected with hepatitis at White Trash House. You simply cannot say that. You can't say that. You can say every other word except for that. That will get you demonetized. To continue, here are a few things that may seem to contradict, but make sense if you take a moment to think about it. Drive and drove. When you're driving somewhere, that's interesting. If you already drove there, I don't care. You're demonetized. Dozen versus dozens. Well, one dozen is fine, but multiple dozens? That's clearly too many. You're allowed to say Urban Dictionary, but under no circumstances ever do you say Urban Dictionary-ing. To help solidify your understanding, let's look at terms that start with the word fuck. Fucker, fuck off, fuck puppet, fuck boy, fuck bag, fuck face, fuck head, fuck nugget, stick, wad. None of these words are okay. None of these words are okay. These are fine. Again, our bots aren't doing anything wrong. They're trying their best. We absolutely value diversity, but bots are people too. As a regular human who can trust technology to produce paper towel at the wave of a hand, I think you should be able to trust bots to regulate the financial compensation received from the use of insensitive social norms. So, while we're trying to do better, maybe you can too. We are sorry if we demonetize your video. We are only human. We will monetize your video once you submit it for review. The bot can learn from it and your channel will not be punished. Demonetize human. Monetize bot. The human will be punished. The bot will not be punished.